glass versus plastic. Hey everybody, Joe Simons, like diamonds. And I'm Luke Simons. Salt Strong Bros here. We did a podcast a little while back all about polarized sunglasses. We talked about our favorites and one of the ones that you see us wearing all the time on our videos are Smith. No, we're not sponsored by Smith. We just happen to believe they make the best glasses. Right now, we used to be Costa guys. We buy some Oakleys as well, but Smith overall are our favorites. And one of the big questions we got, right, is, hey guys, I want to buy some from your store, but I don't know if I should go glass or should I go the plastic or the polycarbonate. So we want to do a quick little video to talk about the pros and cons of each because we do own each and you probably should as well. And frame type too. That's, yes. we, that's a, a very important part that kind of gets overlooked is, is the actual frame itself. The lenses and the frames are basically what you're buying. And yep. if you overlook one or the other, you're going to be you're going to be missing out and, and potentially making a bad decision. Yep. So let's talk about the plastic versus the glass first. Here are the main differences. I mean, the glass in general has always been known to be kind of the best. I mean, this is supposed to be superior in terms of your visibility, right? Which is incredibly important when you're inshore saltwater fishing or any kind of fishing for that matter. And but over time, groups like Smith in particular, they have taken the the plastic, the polycarbonate up to a whole new level where I personally can't tell that much of a difference between wearing the plastic and the glass. Yeah, I can't I can't tell any difference. And same for Oakley. I have some Oakleys that, that are the poly and, and as far as looking and the act of fishing, it is really difficult to tell a difference yep. as far as the visibility. I can tell a very big difference as far as comfort, which we're gonna go into, but yeah. the visibility part, I, I really I really can't I, I can't either. So you might be saying, all right, why buy why buy these nice ones? Because a little bit more expensive. Obviously, the cost is a little bit higher when you have glass versus plastic. Well, these are like my, my wedding glasses. Like, this is when you want to look good. This is what you're going to wear to church. Uh, these, are, these are sharp looking. To me personally, I know you wear a little bit of both. I like wearing the plastic myself. If I had to only pick one, I would go with these. They're a little bit more less expensive and they feel better. These are heavier. When you have glass, it is going to be heavier than the plastic. I found personally over time, like on the water, that these just these start weighing on my face. These feel a lot lighter. You know when you get that big indention on your nose and you just kind of feel like I, I've even got like a migraine before. Call me a pansy if you will. I was just about to. Yeah, yeah thank you. you. To it. But I had a migraine before <laughs> wearing some of these heavier glass lenses. So I personally like wearing these, and you usually see both of us wearing these more often than not out on the water. What about but, you? And I'm wearing I'm personally wearing glass right now. I just no, I just well, like well, the, tough guy. Right, I just like the look of it. I mean, it's for the videos I usually wear it, but but it's really just for the look. And so the, the pro on glass is that it's more scratch resistant. That's really the, that's really the reason to get it. Is it's less likely to get scratched compared to a poly lens. And in many cases, especially I'm fishing in the evenings, which I do a lot, I'm wearing the glasses when I leave, but then when I'm coming back, it's dark and I don't want the glasses on. So I end up putting them in my pocket or I throw them in my tackle box. I'm just not smart enough to bring the case along, where it, which will be the responsible thing to do. So it's just nice to not have to worry so much about them scratching up. So However... But, go, go, go on. So he's 100% right. The glass is less likely to scratch. But if you see what I'm standing on right here, there's some shells or gravel because I've actually done this before. <laughs> if I was to drop both of these, which I'm not going to do, these are going to crack first. So the glass is going to break and shatter, which is what happened to me with one of my nice pairs of glasses. These are just going to scratch. So the glass is 100% less likely to scratch. Perfect point. At nighttime, you're putting them down. Your kids are messing with them. Your dog's eating them. That, these are going to last a little bit better in terms of the look of, of no scratches. But the second these drop on something hard, this is going to crack and shatter a whole lot quicker than these. Either way, you're going to get some scratches. Yeah, so there's pros and cons. I can say there's not, there's not one that you can say, hey, you have to get this one or you have to get that one. A lot of it's yeah. just based on personal preference. Like I, for me, the, the glass, I, I was using the poly for a long time, and then I switched to glass, and it was much heavier in my nose. It was very uncomfortable for the first week or two weeks or whatever and then after that I, i'm used to it now um so it's a, you just kind of get used to it and, and it's if you know to me if you're going to be in a lot of uh, scratch prone situations then the glass is the way to go if not it's hard to beat the poly yeah like it's, it's super comfortable i'm a poly guy myself like All i said right. these are my these are my wedding and funeral glasses here <laughs> i want to look sharp you know like you know hanging out on the beach these do look these these do look yeah, they look cooler yeah they, they do look cooler anyhow here's my recommendation is you go to fishstrong.com right now and buy both. 
And of course, as insider members, you get 20% off, or up to 20% off, sometimes even more off everything, including these classes. So if you buy two pairs, heck, you've more than paid for your membership right there just from that alone. So Yeah, and, and before we win, let's talk about the frames. That's super Ooh, important. Yes. And so so frames is, is just as important as the lens because in reality, I've tested Coasts, I've tested Oakleys, I've tested Smiths. They all, they all have good, the, all those high-end brands have good lenses, right? Yeah. It's, it's going to be very good. Both glass and the poly. Both, yeah. yeah. There's all of them. They're, they're not going to make just cheap stuff that doesn't work. Um, but the, the frames are where there's a, actually a big deal. And so what I recommend avoiding, and uh, not to pick on any brand, but just avoid the type of frames that have the rubber inside, the rubber inlaid. So this is, the, used to be my favorite pair of glasses. Rhymes with most stuff. <laughs> From from a manufacturer, Rhymes with Mosta, <laughs> and uh, and as you can see, just over time that rubber wears off, and then you have to get it in, send it in to get repaired. No, I didn't want to mess with it, so I just uh, ended up experimenting with different, just some different glasses, and that's when I went to Smith, right? Very similar frame, however, the Smith up on top doesn't have any of that rubber in there, and uh, and this stuff has been indestructible. I've and these are years old. Yeah, multiple years old. Um, I know my second one though, I've, I've been using them for probably three years. I did have the T or the H fall off of one. That's been the only <laughs> issue and that, again, that's no problem at all. Um, so long story short, just make sure to, to avoid the ones with the rubber in line because it just, it, it falls apart. Yep. And supposedly it's, it's sunscreen. When sunscreen mixes with it, it'll kind of erode it over time. But uh, regardless of the situation, I haven't yet have had a, a pair of the, the type with rubber last more than just like a year or two. Yeah, I'd, same issue. We used to only wear Kosas and mine have just keep falling apart. And so I've only been wearing Smiths now for probably four or five years and I've had no issues with them. Uh, especially this Guide's Choice. This is our <laughs> overall favorite in the Smith line. They have a bunch of different ones. I have some dock sides as well, but Guide's Choice, I mean, th there's a reason they're called Guide's Choice and this is the ones they've made for fishing guides and fishing guides gave a lot of input on these. This is my definitely go-to and I have multiple pairs in both glass and poly. As you might've heard in my podcast, I'm a little bit of a sunglass nut with, I don't know, 24, 25 different pairs now. So next step, go to fishstrong.com. Join us in, as an Insider member if you're not there and pick up one of each if you can. If you can't, can't afford it, I personally would go with these. It's a little bit less expensive. These are still gonna last a really, really long time. I can't personally tell a difference in terms of the view and visibility when fishing the flats or offshore or anywhere else. And they're, you know, they're a little bit lighter on your face for you kind a of lot, a lot kind of pansies nice. like me that just don't like to get headaches after a while. So, yeah. and of course, I got a thin bread nose. It starts slipping down and it gets sweaty. I, I like these. What, what would you do if you only pick one? That's poly. Yeah, I mean, no, no doubt about it. Because it's more comfortable. I use it driving, right? That way I'm just driving to say if you're doing go, like going down to the keys, you're in the car for six hours yep. nonstop, and it's just so much more, so much more comfortable without any worse performance, any any noticeable worse performance. It, it, yep. it, there, there could be an argument that that the glass lens is. A, uh, is more clear perhaps, but just from actually using it, I, I haven't. And from testing various different brands, both class and poly, I mean, I, I really can't see a noticeable difference in application. Yep. It's cool, guys. That's it. Then we'll do another one. I know another question that came up. You might be asking, hey, what about the colors? I saw you've got, you know, different colors and different, you know, colors on these lenses. That'll be a whole nother video because that's a whole nother topic. But as you can see, or I guess you're not wearing yours right now, but these kind of bronze slash amber, I don't know what term they use for them anymore, but that's kind of the overall best performing for inshore saltwater fishing. But man, these do look good having the different, you know, colors on there. So whole nother topic for another day. Make sure to stay tuned to saltstrong.com. Join us in our Insider Club, get up to 20% or more on every single thing we have in the store. And our store is fishstrong.com. So go there now. We got uh, we do have some of these in stock as we're filming this today. I know they do go fast every time we get some in. And these are the Smith Guides Choice. Click down below now. Thank you guys. Subscribe. We really, really appreciate you. And we'll see you in the next video. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the best fishing club in America because we actually guarantee that you'll catch more fish while saving money on all the tackle you need. We do this through premium education, our exclusive insider community, and huge discounts on the best tackle for saltwater anglers. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com. Otherwise, hope to see you again soon.